God, they're yeah. Kevin Owens. Oh, is, he just hit one of the worst fucking starters I've ever seen in my life. Jesus Christ, that was bad. Kevin Owens is he 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 has like Chris Jericho syndrome, where like he's just getting fat now. Yeah, Chris Jericho got in like really good shape, and then he just gained it all back like randomly. <laughs> he's just like you don't know, fuck this shit. I'm, I'm Chris Jericho. I don't need I don't need to be in shape. <laughs> Every single yeah, that stunner was like almost as bad as Sami Zayn's Superman punch. No, it was almost as. Remember that stunner that Vince took last year at WrestleMania? It was yeah. almost as bad as that. Except I guess you could say it's worse because Vince is like eighty years old, so I guess you have to kind of forgive him for not being able to sell a move at fucking eighty. Mm-hmm. Oh, Paul Heyman's in the ring. Paul <laughs> Heyman's hitting. Oh, okay, this is kind of funny. He's hitting Kevin Owens. Look at that. Paul <laughs> Heyman looks like he, he sweats Crisco. He he sweats Big Mac sauce. I can tell you that much. <laughs> oh, look who look 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 what Montreal Canadian came in to save the day at the very last moment. What Montreal Canadian? You. Fuck you. Oh, Paul Heyman just took a stun. Paul Heyman sold that stunner better than fucking Jimmy Uso did. I don't know what's going on. I don't really care. Hmm. I don't know. Dude, who gives a shit? It's wrestling. It's gay. Yeah, Roman just beat Sami Zayn in one of the most unbelievable matches ever. And I explained this earlier to fucking Bobby Hill, but I'll explain it to you now. Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn had a random match on SmackDown last year that I remember only because Brock Lesnar was a part of it. And Brock Lesnar basically like f 5 him at the beginning of the match. And then like, and then Roman came out and fucking beat Sami Zayn in like seconds. But in this match, J- J- Sami Zayn took three super kicks. A, a splash from like a three hundred fat, uh, three hundred pound fat Uso, and then and then a fucking spear on top of that, and he kicked out of all of it. Is this match still going on? No, it's over now, but the show's still on. Oh, okay, so they have Roman. Of course, they only do it for this hometown crowd bullshit. I mean, we're we're to be fair, VWE, WWE is racist after all for having a pay per view in Quebec. Like it's yeah. the facts. Like, here's the thing about Paul Heyman. You could shoot him in the stomach with, like, a cannonball, and you would just hear, because... His stomach the fucking... is the fucking cannonball. <laughs> yeah. He's, the, he's the so cannonball fat. Would ri- the cannonball would ricochet back and hit the fucking person firing the cannon. He's fat! But still, the the only doing this because of the hometown thing, and, and even then... <laughs> the WRP actually made a really good fucking point about this match. That Rain <laughs> Sam, uh, that Rain Zane match was one of the most infuriating matches I've ever seen, Roman in. In no fucking reality should a scraggly ginger hobo beat the shit out of this Samoan badass. I mean, he's not raw. I mean, I kind of wish no, But the funny part, no, the thing that makes this even worse is literally not even a year ago, Roman Reigns squashed Sami Zayn in like, th- th- know, like 13 seconds. And now, Sami Zayn could like, bring him to the limit. This is like the most like competitive match Roman's had in his entire title reign. Yeah, to a can- to a far leftist Quebec faggot who is I guarantee you, because then he's a liberal, he will not say anything about Quebec and their language Nazi garbage, like at all. He will not say anything about it. He'll just be like, "Oh, it's okay." Yet he will complain about conservatives in America for their racism. See, yeah. that is that is a typical Canadian liberal for you. They're okay with Quebec being racist, but if you're an Ameri- if you're a conservative and you try doing something for the people, you're racist. By Always- the way, Sami Zayn is one of the most ugly fucking wives I've ever seen in my fucking life. She Bro, the, thing, dude, Zane, the thing about, dude, speaking of cannibals, Sami Zayn looks like he has stardust shoved cannonballs up his high knee. All right, Zane, you guys have like 13 minutes to ask questions. I'm going to rewind the Brock Lesnar shit that I didn't get to see. That's like basically <laughs> it. So, like, you guys have like 13 minutes. cannonballs in the tub full of making very saggy spectral. I don't so you guys got like 13 minutes, so. Oof. Get asking shit. I don't know. I'm not even looking at the comments because I don't see anything interesting. But even then, still, I, it's hilarious that Sami Zayn is getting this random push for no reason because, oh, we're in a burger pay per view in Montreal. I don't know why you want to go to Montreal. I bet Triple H is only doing it. It's like, ugh, it'll make me look good. It's the only reason why. 
Because I just realized that the Sammy Roman shit literally went on for like an hour and a half. Because now that I'm like fast, or sorry, uh, rewinding it, holy shit. Yeah, it went, it went like just nothing but stare downs for like the first three minutes, too. Yeah, I don't, it's just fucking, I don't, I don't know what the match is. I don't give a shit because I'm not watching this because I'm already, I'm like, I just want to like quit this wrestling shit and just move on and do something. Yeah, by the way, yeah, I should probably mention that after fucking whatever you call it, the fucking one thing, whatever, fuck, WrestleMania, that, that's what it's called. Yeah, after that, um, I'm probably going to take a large step back from wrestling videos. Like I'm saying wrestling videos are going to be like very, very rare. Well, I'll explain my shit in my video when I have that out, like, near March. Or well, yeah, I'll explain it in a, in a separate video, because, like, n like not all my audience is watching this fucking live stream, but, yeah, I'm just saying, I'm just saying for the people who are here, after WrestleMania night one, you're gonna, like, I'll do a WrestleMania review, and then, like, that's gonna be, like, it. Like, I'll explain it more in that video, I guess, but, yeah. <laughs>